<laughs> Hello everybody. Hope you all had a wonderful new year. Hope you all had a great day. Here, it was cold. Very cold. Well, not too cold. In the 30s. It is Monday, which means spooky place is Monday. And being this is the first one of the new year, 09. We shall visit a few places close to my old stomping grounds, Indiana. We start off with uh, at uh, Bartonia, Headless Man. If you go to the Greenville Pike in Bartonia, at the stop sign, turn right, then at the first gravel road, turn left. Go past a bridge, turn around, and go back over the bridge. When you get over the bridge, wait a few seconds, then turn around, don't drive too fast or go slow, and you can see a man on a horse without a head. The further you get from the bridge, the closer it gets to you. It soon disappears. <laughs> then we go to Bridgeport, Captain Frank's tomb. An elaborate tomb was built on a bluff commanding a view of the Ohio River. His reason for choosing this lonely spot for a tomb was so that he could shout curses at the passing steamboat captains. It is said that many on the river have seen a ghost light or mist that settles over the tomb. We now go to the K. Butler Land of Moses, located just outside of Butler, off of State Route 6, is a road that goes to the right and over the railroad tracks. There is a cemetery there that is allegedly haunted, and they say at night, if you park in the cemetery by the old cre crematorium, you can hear cries of the departed. This begins a stretch of the road called the Land of Moses that leads to Gypsy Hill. This area is extremely dark at night, and there is an area that gypsies congregate, con, congregate, uh, congregate, well, they gathered, at near the Indiana-Ohio line. This area is covered by a dense, dark forest. Rumor has it that the gypsies kidnapped and raped a farmer's daughter in the early 1900s. The farmers then banded together and killed the gypsies. Over the next 10 years, the farmers all were killed by an axe. One report said that a gypsy returned from the dead and haunted the woods, which is where the farmers' bodies were found. Till this day, very few people will dare to go to the woods, park the car, and get out and explore them. There is an old foundation of a log house there and some other rem remnants of the gypsies. And the last stop for this week, folks, Hancock, Thomas Road. This graveyard has had numerous occurrences, including blood on graves, which are all date back to the mid-1800s. The ground is always soft, no matter the weather. Noises from the woods that seem to get closer the longer you stay. And two gigantic rocks which set in front of the path that leads you in the air area are moved in a different spot every time you visit. <laughs> well, that is it for this week, my friends. And I hope you all had a fun and enjoyable time in wishing you all a spooky night. <laughs>